Hello everyone, this is just a quick video to show you my overclock settings for my Q8300 Intel Core 2 Quad 2.5 GHz processor with 12 GB of DDR2 800 MHz RAM. As you can see, these are the specifications of the processor. And as you can see, in the voltage range there, you can't go past 1.3625 volts on this particular chip. And these are my um, specifications for the board I'm using, which is in my Hackintosh machine. I did want to buy 1066 RAM for this machine, but it is rather expensive as a DDR2. So that is why I've got 12 gigabytes of 800 megahertz instead. Okay, there you go. As you can see, it's good information there about the memory, blah, 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 blah. But anyway, let's get into the BIOS and I can show you my settings. Okay, before I start, please note I am not an expert on overclocking, but I am beginning to get the hang of it. Anyway, here we are in the BIOS, and the first place I'm going to go to is the MB Intelligent Tweaker, which is the first option. Okay, the first thing I did was go to CPU Chip Control and set the CPU Host Clock Control to Enabled. Okay, the second thing I done was go to the CPU host frequency setting and I set it to 400. If I put it back to what it was previously at 333, you will see the CPU speed drop back down to 2.5 as it was previously. So I'm going to just change that back to 400 and, and you'll see it go back up to 3 gigahertz. The third setting I done was adjust the PCI Express frequency to 100. Okay, the next thing we have to do is adjust the memory setting. So I'm going to go down to DRAM performance control. As you can see, I've set my system memory multiplier to 2.00D. That is because I followed the little guide that you can see on the right. And as you can see on the right, if you have a, a speed of 400 megahertz, then you have to change your RAM multiplier to 2.00D. Okay, the final stage of overclocking, you've got to go down to motherboard voltage control and increase the voltage for the CPU and the RAM. As I'm not quite sure how to do that yet, I've just left all my settings as auto and the machine is just fine. Anyway, I'm going to exit out of this BIOS now and I'm going to show you my Hackintosh machine booting up. I've switched to recording my desktop instead by using QuickTime Player which is really brilliant on a Mac because it has the option to record your desktop unlike QuickTime Player on Windows. As you can see I've pulled up CPUX which is free to download if you search for it in Google. 
as you can see it's got all the information there about my CPU if you look down the bottom you can see the settings I set up in the BIOS to overclock the CPU it's reading at 3000 megahertz which is 3 gigahertz and there's the bus speed I set of 400 as I said in the beginning it was originally 333 megahertz and even about this Mac is giving it a reading of 3 gigahertz which I'm really happy with and as you can see I'm running OS X 10.10.1 I have tried to update the operating system but it messes up my machine. That's something I've got to get my head around. If you've got any tips leave them in the comments section. Because I used to run Mavericks on this machine and that updated with no problem at all but when I do it on this motherboard it completely screws it up. I just get a flashing cursor on a black screen with a loading bar and that's as far as it will go. Anyway I hope this video helped you. Thanks for watching. Over and out.